Today, I'm gonna to show you how I turned this cereal into this beer, and we're gonna give it a taste. Now, I have not tasted it yet, and I am very eager to do so. But first, before we give it a taste, let me tell you how I brewed the beer, then we'll give it a taste. First, I mashed the cereal in eight cups of water at 151 degrees for 45 minutes. I then rinsed the grains with eight cups of water at 170 degrees. I added half a pound of Bavarian wheat malt extract. Then I added a quarter ounce of Fuggle hops and boiled for 45 minutes. I added another quarter ounce of Fuggle hops and boiled for an additional 50 minute, 15 minutes. Total boil time was one hour. Cooled the wort down to 70 degrees and I used ale yeast. I then fermented at 70 degrees for two weeks, then bottled and conditioned for an additional two weeks at the same temperature, about 68 to 70 degrees. And that's it. So the brewing process was really easy to make this beer. I ended up with about four bottles of beer, plus this little uh, half a bottle here, which I'm actually going to give a taste right now. And we'll see how it turns out. I did taste it in the, during the bottling process uh, before it was cooled down and carbonated, and it tasted a lot like the cereal that I used. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what cereal it is, but in this case, I'm calling it Beerios. I know, I'm very clever here. So let's go ahead and crack it open and give it a taste. I'm so excited. I don't know which way to turn or what I'm doing. So we got a nice hiss there, which I always like to hear. And we'll go ahead and give it a pour. It's a very cloudy beer. Oh, there we go. So that's my half a bottle there. So very cloudy, it smells good. It's got a lot of hops to it, a lot of hop aroma. Looks like I could let it condition a little bit more. I didn't get any head on the beer. I'm kind of nervous. This is the first time I've made a beer from cereal here. Let's give it a taste. It's okay. I'm gonna let it condition for a little bit longer. I'll have to say I'm not terribly impressed by it. <laughs> I'm going to have to make this recipe again, and this time, instead of using Bavarian wheat malt extract, I'm just gonna use a light malt extract. I think the Bavarian wheat isn't the best flavor for it, but I'll tell you what, it smells really nice. Mm. It's got a little bit of a wheat grain flavor to it, but you know, it's, it's, eh, it's all right, but it's not something that I would necessarily brag about and share with all my friends. So, mm. Back to the drawing board on this one. I'm gonna give it another go. This time, I'm not gonna use that much Bavarian wheat malt extract. I'll do it with a little light malt extract and see if that turns out a little bit better. You know, but aside from that, it's pretty clean. It does have sharp flavors. The aroma, the hops are really nice in it, but It's just not braggadocious. So there you have it. That is my first round, my first experiment, turning cereal into beer. You know, I wouldn't say that it was the, the best turnout here, but you gotta try different things. And that's one of the great things about being a home brewer is that you get to experiment with things like this and get a little creative. So uh, stay tuned. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I'll be doing more videos like this and more how-to tutorials on brewing. You can also check out the website that I've just built where I'm cataloging everything, and that is homebrewtutorials.com. I'll put links everything in the video description if you want to check that out, and that'll do it for today. So again, my name is Drew Smith, and mm, I'll see you next time.